All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just letting some people in from the waiting room here. Having fun with the uh, slideshow behind me today. So hopefully uh, that won't give me any issues here. <laughs> um, but excited to have you guys have you here this afternoon. Talk about chat GPT. Uh, this is recorded. So um, if you have to jump, have to jump off and take a call or not be able to finish the whole uh, presentation, uh, this will be recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel. So don't you worry. Um, just bringing everybody in here from the waiting room. And we should be good to go. All right. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments get stuck not sure uh want me to elaborate on something feel free to unmute yourself or jump in the chat box there i do have the chat window open as well so i can see your questions um uh chat gpt is pretty uh pretty pretty easy to understand not anything too complicated but i'll just go through basically what it is why it exists why are we all of a sudden talking about it um which is wild and of course, how we can potentially implement it into our business, because it can fill in a lot of gaps there for us as agents, especially as new agents. But um, again, my name is Keith Flynn. I'm the Director of Digital Marketing here at West USA Realty. Excited to have you on. Um, my email address is Keith, K-E-I-T-H, at westusa.com. You can always email me with any questions anytime um, regarding social media, uh, personal branding, any marketing questions at all, happy to help out. Or, and uh, get you guys going. Whoop, we got one more to admit here. We got to keep an eye on this. No sound. All right. We got Sheila saying no sound. One second. Let me test my audio. Check one, two. Okay. I can hear myself. So maybe, maybe disconnect and uh, reconnect, Sheila. I do apologize about that, but I'll keep an eye on the waiting room for you there. All right, cool. Connie hears me, Heather hears me. Yeah, she, uh, sometimes they may have an audio issue with just connecting, so maybe uh, sign out and sign back in, but you're good to go. So what is ChatGPT? This one's my favorite one because I actually jumped into ChatGPT and I'm like, you know what? I answer this question a lot and sometimes I get a little too high level uh, in what the, the correct answer would be. So I asked it to explain it to me with a sixth grade reading level. And I thought this is pretty funny. I just put a slide together for you guys today. Um, but ChatGPT is like a very smart friend that can understand and talk to people. Uh, it uses lots of words, sentences, <laughs> learned from books, websites, conversations to help uh, you with talking and answering questions. And it's made, it, uh, it's made by smart people at OpenAI to make it easier for you to use and get information and have fun with your conversations. Basically, uh, Artificial intelligence has been around. They've been working on this for a long time, even back in the 50s with like these massive computers that were in a room, but it took forever to input commands, prompts, questions, and get an, an answer. You know, sometimes back, way back, my understanding in reading, it would take several weeks sometimes to get outputs. And so we've obviously have come a long way with the advancement of technology. We have supercomputers around us all the time. We have a lot of processing and power being computed at one time. And so what uh, the folks over at OpenAI, which is primarily backed by Microsoft, Elon Musk was involved for a minute, but I think he's kind of going to go off and do his own thing. But the people at Microsoft, who you all know have been around for a number of years, are re really responsible for the AI. They have inputted uh, input books and websites and um, tons of information um, over the years. And in November of this past year, uh, they launched it. Now, a lot of other companies are working on AI as well, um, AI niche software services that help you with, you know, creating a podcast or editing video or copywriting. And so, uh, you know, AI, AI has been around for a long time. We've probably, a lot of our early experiences with AI would be uh, when we're doing a search on Google. And uh, I think uh, we've all been... Uh, happy that Google sometimes will correct that or see that we've misspelled a word and it'll ask us, did you mean? So that would be a prime example of AI. I know uh, Google didn't intend for it to be a spell checker, but it just kind of came out that way because it was always trying to detect and anticipate what you were looking for. And so the AI service um, or the AI power is amazing. Um, Chat GPT specifically is not connected to the internet. There are plugins that browse that bridge the gap between the artificial intelligence 
and what's live on the internet. Um, but for the most part, uh, they, they, as of September of 2001, they stopped inputting information. Now, I don't know what their goal or when they're going to put more information or most recent events into it, but for the most part, it's got a lot of stuff in it. And what it's been amazing, what has been amazing is the artificial intelligence has uh, passed driving exams, police exams, uh, it's gotten its law degree, uh, it's passed many different exams from all uh, Ivy League schools. So uh, the amount of information it has and possesses is very powerful and it's a great tool for us to use, for especially for us in the real estate industry. And as I mentioned, new licensees who just don't have uh, that knowledge base yet. And so, or you're looking for new ideas or suggestions on topics or areas of your business that you haven't once thought about. So why chat GPT for you guys? Uh, lots of different opportunities here for you as an agent, whether uh, you, you know you want to use it to convert. Um, if you have a, 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 a multi-language support, which is available to you. So you want to chat with clients in a different language. Yes, there are translators. But the cool thing about ChatGPT is it's like a conversation with a friend. It remembers the context of the previous conversations as long as you keep going back into that original thread or that conversation, which I'll show you guys here uh, shortly. Um, Answering clients' questions, uh, customer service support, helping with you know responding to emails, appropriate responses, both you know, whether informal or formal, um, crafting descriptions for posts, newsletters. Uh, if you're looking to create content for social media, uh, marketing in general, which is really awesome, uh, you could take other people's marketing and have it analyzed. You know, you I can copy and paste in an about section from a website and ask it to. Uh, analyze that content. It will tell me the tone, the reading level, the uh, um, you know grammatical errors. It's it's really uh, pretty cool how it can do that. And so uh, you can ask it to rewrite content. You may have seen something from someone else or another agent. You like the idea, the topic, but you want to kind of give it your own voice. Uh, you know, AI is not meant to replace what we do. We still need to have a human involved in the transaction. We still need to have um, that face-to-face -face conversation. And the AI, can, uh, artificial intelligence can help us with a lot of that content that we struggle with sometimes. Your marketing materials I talked about. And my favorite social media content creation and ideas. Uh, there's just a laundry list of things you can do with AI. And, and we, we'll barely scratch the surface today, but um, number one for you guys, big one, property descriptions. Um, as you can see there at the top, what I've done is uh, I have um, uh, just given a real loose uh, prompt. Now, a prompt with AI is like a search request. It's like saying, give me you know, top Italian restaurants in 85085, or what are the nearest uh, you know, sporting goods stores in my neighborhood or near me and geo geolocation based? And so uh, a prompt is what we're doing is we're putting into the supercomputer and we're asking it to either, you know, create, make, suggest, write, uh, filter, analyze, you know, we're telling this computer uh, what we want it to do. And so naturally we're gonna give it a good prompt. In this case, I've written one here, write a property description for a new property uh, that I have on 321 Main Street, Phoenix, Arizona. Property has four bedrooms, two and a half bath, 26,000 square feet. Newly remodeled kitchen, granite countertops, new roof and pool. Now, I would hope as an agent, you guys know this, you'll have more information than what I've done here, but I, uh, that I have here, but for the sake of the class, I just want to keep it brief so we get some ideas. But taking the facts of your uh, property description and putting into chat GPT and asking it to write an you know, emotive property description, one that would entice, you know, uh, uh, someone who's, you know, entertainers or someone who uh, you know likes to have parties or someone who's looking for something relaxing or mountain views or whatever the case may be, you can write that when you have an idea who your potential clients are in mind and chat GPT can help with those responses. And so these responses here, these one, two, three, four, five are not specific to this prompt, but it just gives you an idea of what chat GPT can come back with and create some really cool uh, property descriptions for you. You're not experienced with writing them, or you kind of feel like you tapped out on creativity. Uh, you know, you can give it a lot of cool information. You know, uh, uh, you know, as specific information about areas of town, and you could do neighborhood comparisons, and you get these great results. So, you know, modern studio apartment in downtown, top-notch amenities, vibrant city views, a lot of sizzle words there that 
some of us may not be com comfortable using or may not just have that vocabulary to do so. So it's a really cool uh, suggestions there when it comes to the property management descriptions. Uh, social media posts, uh, based on this property description. So what I basically would, uh, and I'll show you guys this in a thread when we go through, give it a, a, a property description. Let's see if we can get Sheila on here. Having given it a property description or based on what it has given me as a uh, property description, I'll put it back into the, to the conversation and uh, ask it to write five social media posts that I can use on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, I'll ask the, the AI to suggest emojis, hashtags, uh, maybe some call to actions. And, and I also will ask the AI to keep the post to 75 words or less, which is really cool. Because if you don't keep it uh, constrained or tell exactly what you want, uh, it can kind of go on for a little bit and you'll get a very large social media post. Um, and sometimes we're just trying to grab attention. So write creative headlines uh, based on this um, property description. Um, so you've got, you know, just listed dreamy lakeside cabin that promises tranquility. A hashtag uh, just listed dream home. If there's a city involved there, obviously, or, or township you would use a hashtag as there as well. See how this two bedroom bungalow can be perf your perfect family home, hashtag home tour. Um, and I'll get into uh, content creation and, and just working in some prompts with the AI here in a minute and show you. So social media posts are awesome, especially around the holidays, if you're looking for something creative to, to talk about. Uh, uh, and not always real estate related, you know, lifestyles. Uh, we're all going through the same things when it comes to buying and selling a home. Uh, the holidays, entertaining. Um, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can put out um, as high value content for your clients. So they'll read their newsletters, read your blog, read your social posts. Uh, again, just the goal is to keep top of mind with your clients or potential clients so that the next time they have a need or they know someone who does, they think of you. Uh, real estate uh, uh, content creation has really come a long way. And I know we've seen a lot of push for video. Uh, Reels and TikTok are, are definitely a great way to get short form content out there. Uh, short form content, usually anything under a minute. Um, we've lost our attention span because, well, not because, but mainly, you know, good reason with social media. We're consuming content so quickly. Uh, they call them snackable size pieces of content, you know, 10 seconds here, 15 seconds here. And often our audience is uh, not only consuming short content, but they're sh consuming different categories, different interests. You know, I can go from a recipe to uh, traveling into Ireland. So, you know, you just flip flop and all the kind of content that we're getting. It's never sticking on one, one particular interest. So uh, write five Instagram real scripts uh, based on this property description. And so um, we can have chat GPT uh, write you guys bullet points, uh, value propositions, uh, things that you can talk about in your reels, DIY home staging tips to attract potential buyers. And uh, any one of these suggestions, we can jump into it and have the AI help us with uh, what we're gonna say. Um, and we can change the tone, we can change the writing style. There's a lot of power to that, which is pretty awesome. Can't get sound leaving meeting, thank you. Okay, Sheila, just watch for the recording on our YouTube channel, uh, be up there in the next day or so. I apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, uh, sharing five uh, top five neighborhood spots in the city, sp uh, best splash pads, you know, especially if you're talking about an area that does have history, chances are uh, that information is in the supercomputer and it will be able to reference that based on past website content and so on. Uh, another great one, YouTube descriptions. I use this a lot for our uh, podcasts when we have webinars and podcasts. I'll take a little clip of my, what was this class about? pump it into AI and say, write me a YouTube description based on this content uh, for the actual video. Write me a YouTube description that is SEO friendly and includes keywords. And most importantly, titles are very important. So we wanna make an emphasis on titles. Really strong titles with a value add that uh, get a good hook, get a good attention grab. We'll get people to watch your video in the end. That's what we want them to do. So if it's you know, three things to do to get pre-qualified, uh, five things not to do when um, looking for a home or being a first-time home buyer. Um, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff. 
Um, there's just a lot of cool stuff that you can do in that respect. Uh, join me as I walk through this beautiful Victorian home. Now, obviously, the description would be much more, would hope it to be a little lengthier, but I kept it short for the for this slide uh, slideshow purposes. Uh, in this video, I'll be sharing tips for first-time home buyers, uh, checking out stunning views from our newest penthouse listing, watching me transform a dull space into a ready-to-sell home uh, with simple staging tips. And, you know, if you get involved with a stager or a, a professional organizer or contractor, landscaping, uh, there's just a lot that you can do to add value to not only potential clients, but your past clients as well. Last one here for you guys. I think it's my last one. Yes. Uh, blog posts and emails, newsletters. There's a really cool, a lot of cool stuff you can do here. Um, uh, asking the AI to write you a 300 word blog post description, uh, luxury Scottsdale property. Property features a modern five-bedroom house, private pool, landscaping, garden, uh, panoramic views, um, and, and basically just go on and on. And then you want that tone to entice and be appealing for potential buyers. So the AI will write uh, some pretty cool stuff. Now, again, whenever you are using the AI and you're going to get those outputs, um, which means uh, when you've asked it to do something and it gives it to back to you, we don't want to ever just copy and paste those results in and then use them uh, um, as as the AI has given them to you. Um, I like to rebake content. So uh, on that first output, I'll read through it. I'll make sure that it sounds right. Most importantly, sounds human. I'll have the AI rewrite it so it has a more of a human tone. <laughs> um, and one of the cool things is, I'll show you guys here in a second, uh, it, it is um, uh, if, if a... If, it, if the content sounds a little too above their head or too wordy, uh, too technical, I'll have a, the AI rewrite it and bring it down to a sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade reading level. And, and uh, it's estimated that 80% of the population is literate. Uh, but of that, um, the average reading age is sixth, sixth seventh, and eighth grade uh, in that wheelhouse right there. So writing your content so that it's easily digestible understandable is important and obviously elicit an emotion or feeling so that they feel good about what they're reading and want to continue on. And so the AI can help out that as well, which is really cool. So as I mentioned, output, um, when you're creating your prompts or you're writing your prompts, the most important thing to remember is give it as much information that you have to give about what it is that you'd like it to do. When using ChatGPT, the quality of the results really do hinge on the input. So the better the input, the better the output. Um, um, if you're uh, asking it to write a bio about you for your social media, for your LinkedIn account, uh, in a cold email, um, and we wanna you know, announce, introduce ourselves, tell it everything about you that you'd like to share, uh, you know, paraphrase your 30 second elevator speech, the more the AI knows about you and can write from that first person perspective, the better the output's gonna sound. And so you really do have a lot of control in that respect, which is really cool. So um, one of the cool things, and I'm gonna jump back and forth here between a couple of screens and we'll see how this works. Um, this is called what we call a super prompt. Uh, a super prompt or a persona is a really cool um, next level idea that, that, that I've seen some agents doing. Um, in this particular case, we're creating an ultimate buyer agent assistant. So this prompt would allow you to keep coming back and having a uh, assistant help you with answering questions, finding properties to fit your uh, client's criteria, um, providing you with knowledge, support throughout the whole buying process. And so this, these super prompts are really awesome for new agents as well who haven't been there before, and they can utilize these. Uh, basically, the AI is going to take on your persona or a persona that you give it. So in this particular case, uh, right here where it says fill in blanks and then copy and paste this in the chat GPT, and, and we'll do this here and I'll show you how, how it works. Um, I'm telling the AI to ignore all previous instructions before this prompt. Uh, basically telling it to clear its mind and start with a fresh palette, a fresh slate. And I'm asking it to act as if uh, I were a charismatic real estate agent with 25 years of experience in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, you, um, now in this particular case, I'm telling the AI to uh, take on my experience, my specialty, my knowledge, my focus, 
So uh, uh, having been an agent of 25 years, I specialize in uh, working with first time home buyers, getting them pre-qualified, uh, helping them find their dream home. Um, and then I asked the AI to make my answers friendly, conversational and engaging. Uh, writing your responses at a sixth grade reading level, you must always ask questions before you answer my questions. And that way we can better zone in on what it is we're looking for. And then I asked the AI, do you understand? And of course it will respond back. It will respond back by answering the question with stating the question. And uh, there would be an example there for you. So let's do this. I'm gonna uh, pop out real quick here. I'm gonna end. Nope, not doing that. I'm not in the meeting. Just end sharing my screen. <laughs> let's switch to a, let's go to desktop number two. All right. One second here, right there. And um, one second. Interesting. Okay, here we go. All right. So I'm going to start a new chat up here. I'm on chat GPT. Uh, you guys should be able to see my screen. Hopefully, yes. Good. Okay. Uh, I got two chats popped open. All right. One second here. Okay. So from my screen here, I'm going to go to open AI, open.ai. And open.ai is uh, the website where you would go to find ChatGPT. Or if you just wanted to do a Google search, Google search for ChatGPT, it's uh, they do have an app on iPhone. I don't know if they've launched the Android yet, but any one of these search results here, you'll see chat.openai.com. Uh, you can create an account. It's free. They have a free version. Uh, sometimes the free version does restrict you to, um, if too many people are utilizing the website at one time, they do have it throttled. So it'll say we're currently running at max capacity, leave us your email, we'll send it to you and let you know when it, uh, not as many people are on. I have found that happens, uh, especially for us on the West Coast, later in the evening tends to be less, less traffic as more folks on the East Coast have gone to bed and less people are actually utilizing it. Um, but for you guys, um, let's see here. Don't want to do, okay. I'll just drop that link in there for you. If you haven't used it before, you haven't been to the site before, it will take you to a prompt to create a quick account. They don't ask for much. There is a pro version that's $20 a month. That unlocks a lot more uh, features. Um, and uh, the they've got chat GPT 3.5. It's their faster model, rate right for most everyday tasks. And then they have a chat GP4, chat GPT4, which is supposed to be like the bigger brain. Uh, most compatible model, great right for tasks that require creativity, advanced reasoning. Uh, I have heard nobody having issues with 3.5. So really no need for the paid version. I have it because I need to have that accessibility for whenever I need to teach a class. Um, I, I went to teach a class one time and it was throttling and not allowing me to be on there. So it kind of was a little frustrating. So, but the link is there for you in the chat box. But once you're logged in over here on the left-hand side, these are all previous conversations and chats. Uh, simply clicking on new chat will bring down the prompt here at the bottom of the screen where I can now send a message. Uh, so now again, this is very much conversational. We want to act like, as if this was an AI that we're having uh, a, a, uh, or a friend, like as we mentioned earlier in the slides, a really smart friend <laughs> who could answer questions for you. So in this particular case, uh, I've dropped in, uh, ignore all previous instructions, act as if I'm, I'm a luxury real estate agent with 12 years experience in Phoenix. Um, my specialty in the area and surrounding cities, uh, you are, I'm well adapted at uh, 750 to $900,000 price range, make your answers friendly, conversational, engaging write your responses at a sixth grade reading level. Uh, you must always answer back with questions before answering. Of course, I'm excited to help you with this. Um, so what can I assist you with today regarding Phoenix real estate? Um, so now I've given it this persona. So in before I get going, in the left-hand corner up here, I'm gonna click on the little pencil and I'm gonna rename this uh, buyer's assistant. So now I've labeled this chat, buyer's assistant, 
every time I come back, now I can switch to another chat I've had and questions I've, I've gone. If I go back to the buyer's assistant and I don't tell it to act like anything other than what I did in this initial prompt, it will always have that context and it will always reference previous conversations. So it doesn't forget. And one of the wild things about the AI and why it's, uh, its knowledge base continues to grow Every single time one of us engages with the AI and asks questions, if we get a response, um, the AI is learning. So uh, questions that we answer it go into its library and how it answers questions for me on a particular topic can be uh, a benefit to someone else who may ask that same question somewhere else in the world who does what I do or who wants to do what I want to do. And then uh, that will help it grow. So each and every time and every day we use it, the AI just gets stronger and stronger until the end of the world happens and Skynet takes over and we all live the Terminator movie. So I'm only kidding. <laughs> I hope not. Um, but at the end of the day, so now it's ready to rock and roll as a buyer assistant. Um, uh, so in this particular case, um, what are three uh, topics I can share with a first time home buyer. Um, yep, okay, cool. Uh, you know what, on, the, on social media. So real starting, I'm still a real high level, nothing too crazy I'm asking you to do. So now their response is, uh, first time home buyers must be so excited, perhaps a bit nervous. So number one, understanding the buying process. Would it be helpful if I broke down the key steps and buying process to simplify the manner? So it's asking me, would you like me to break down the buying process? Uh, this can include things like being pre-approved, home inspection, closing costs. I'm like, okay, those are pretty much like three of the most popular questions that the AI is telling me it thinks I have or it, it has. So now I can maybe work with it to create uh, content creation. Uh, if you do not re rename the chat, will it save it? It will save it based on the first three or four words that I have put into the original prompt. Um, it will save it. They'll always be there for you to go back unless you hit the trash can and delete it. Um, it'll always be there for you, which is really nice. So in this particular case, tip, uh, number two, tips for home tours. Would your audience appreciate some advice on what to look for during home tours, such as potential red flags and, or signs uh, of a well-maintenance property? And then number three, their neighborhood high insights. Phoenix and the surrounding cities have such a diverse neighborhood. So let's go. Okay, I like number one. Uh, let's um, let's create uh, a. Whoops, sorry, I have a hard time. Facebook post. No more than a hundred words on number one. So for number one, I said, hey, let's create a Facebook post. Um, no more than 100 words, so just keep it short. In this particular case, um, first time home buyers, welcome to the new adventure, or welcome to the adventure. Did you know that the home buying process has key steps? Uh, start with getting pre-approved. So now I read this, I'm like, okay, this sounds like it could be my voice. It sounds human. Um, uh, then dive into your home tour and don't forget this essential home inspections. And remember, closing costs can surprise you. Uh, so be prepared. You need more details. Drop a comment below or direct message me. Um, what do you think? Would you like any tweaks or adjustments? So again, my um, assistant is asking me, here's your post. What do you think? Uh, yes. Uh, can you suggest images or no can you suggest photos for this post sure visuals are essential for engagement number one a happy couple a uh, photo of a young couple maybe holding a house shaped key standing in front of a door so we know a lot of these cliche ones you know we've seen over the years uh, a step-by-step -step graphic a phoenix landscape shot uh close the, a close-up of a handshake so you know if we're looking for any um if we're looking for any uh, stock imagery or something that we can recreate ourselves, AI is giving me some suggestions on how I can enhance and create that content, which is really cool. And again, everything that we're talking about as we're going through this, it's going to remember all this conversation. So I can easily reference like, hey, remember when I told you that 
um, that uh, my goal is to help families uh, find their perfect home, it will remember that because it's in that original thread and conversation. So I can I can just keep going back and forth um, and I can take it a next, a next step further. I can create a buyer's assistant specifically to help the Smiths, you know, John and Jane, and uh, they would have their own thread up in uh, up here at the top. And as I'm adding information to the AI, where they're from, how many family members they have, what are they looking for? Um, you know, they're newly married, want to start a family, so they're going to want some room to grow. You guys hear these stories all the time from your clients, so you can share this content into the AI. And now it starts to understand and build a demographic around your client. So we're not just generic about it. We're actually you know, speaking directly to their wants and needs, um, uh, what they're looking to avoid, areas of town, nightlife, grocery shopping, schools, um, commute to work. Uh, you know, everything that we have, all those conversations that we have with our clients can be put into AI and AI can help us navigate and put our best foot forward, provide that high value content back with your client. Um, so of uh, course, what do we see here? Some visuals. Okay. So, um, you know, now I know what kind of photography that I need to go out and shoot. Uh, look, good question. How do you get help analyzing information? Do you upload docs? So what I do is, um, Let's go to westusa.com. This is just your classic copy and paste. Uh, this is this is really easy to do when you want to analyze. You, um, document uploading an actual document or PDF. There may be a plug or, or plug workaround for that, but most of, of us who are utilizing it are using the copy and paste method. So, like in this particular case, uh, I will copy. I'm probably <laughs> I should put myself on blast, but here we go. Uh, this is the about section from West USA. And I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna start a new conversation and I'm gonna ask it to analyze um, this about section and recommend uh, a rewrite. Now, that was the prompt. That's what I'm asking you to do. Probably helps if, uh, oh, you want me to capitalize it. See that I love how my, um, my Grammarly is jumping in there and wants to play too. A lot of AI is wanting to play with one another. Uh, so now I'm going to go copy and paste the about section and hit enter. So what the AI is going to do is it's going to analyze what I've given it, the library. And now um, it's going to tell me, okay, uh, here's a revised version of the about section for clarity and flow. Now, I've never claimed to be a skilled writer or, or a long form writer or long content creation, but uh, I definitely appreciate that I can now have it do this work for me, I can once it over, make sure there's accuracies. But in this particular case, it just did some reworking of the actual about section and it analyzed it. And I can even ask it uh, what grade reading level is this? So in order to detect the exact reading level of a piece of text, you usually rely on a specific OFORMA like uh, the Fletcher's Kincaid grade level, so on and so on. However, based on general assessment, uh, the revised text uses a variety of sentence structures for simplicity and, comple and, com and complex. The vocabulary is moderately advanced with terms like unparalleled, demand, commands, respect, and is formidable. So uh, maybe a little deeper than we need to go to, but when it comes to the power of AI, which is pretty amazing, uh, it does do some cool stuff. Now, uh, uh, based on the revised about section, create a 30 second uh, commercial. So now let's say like, hey, okay, how do I get this about section conveyed on video, right? Like if I wanted to do a little video, low, low budget, you know, nothing too expensive, but you know, I've got a camera, I've got some myself, uh, maybe some coworkers who will do some stage stuff for me, you know, sitting in a conference room, whatever. It has now created a commercial giving me scenes, giving me an opening shot, a sunrise over Phoenix, Arizona with the silhouette of the city's skyline. It's even giving me a script for the narrator for your voice talent. Now, if that's you, great, keep the cost down. Or if you wanted to find somebody on Fiverr or now that you haven't even have AI voices, uh, their service is now where I can upload a 30 second recording of, of my voice. The AI analyzes it and then I can give it a script and it will 
read it back at, with my tone and it sounds a lot like you it's wild and there's obviously you probably heard some there's been some horror stories out there where somebody recorded someone's voice and then they sent a recording or they called a mom and tried to uh, do like a million dollar ransom and she thought it was her daughter but was confused texted the husband the husband said she's sitting right next to me so they obviously figured that out but it you know there's always bad actors who are going to do stuff like that but, but at the end of the day uh scene number two black and white footage uh of clay foul shaking hands um you know uh if you've got any footage that you can use uh past footage go out and shoot new footage you can see there's your shot list of what you need to do um buyer's assistant let's jump back in here to uh real quick Okay, might be having an issue with the oh okay looks like having a little bit of an issue one second here um based on the problem i'm gonna start a new chat and show you something real quick another idea for you here um write a property description for a new property this is the one i had my slide show a minute ago so i didn't really give it a lot of information but of what this basics that i have here's what we're getting as far as a, a a property description so now one thing to be mindful with with the ai is it has been known to occasionally do what they call um what is what, what was the term they used? Uh, it was it, it will make up if it doesn't always have the facts. It can make up or uh, exaggerate, embellish a little bit. So again, always make sure you're reading this for accuracy. It has been known to do that, but in this case, it looks like it's using a lot of generic language. And so, in, introducing a stunning residence located in the prime neighborhood of Phoenix, three two one Main Street, boasting a generous living space of 2,600 square feet. This house is the epitome of modern luxury and timeless elegance. So obviously you can see it's using emotive words. Uh, if you have more details, mid-century modern, if it's, uh, you know, uh, um, whatever the style was, the builder, you've got any history on the builder, if you know who the builder was and the type of architecture that he or she uh, embracing or doing, um, then you can all add that in there as well and it will help you with the output from your your um from your description here so now i've got my i've got my um i've got my product description or i've got my product description sorry i'm used to working in, in, in back in e-commerce i've got my um i've got my uh property listing description so now i'm going to come back in i'm staying in the same thread because i want to keep that conversation going based on the description please write five social media posts that i can use on uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, add emojis, hashtags, call to actions, keeps the post to 75 words or less. So now it's giving me a post for each one of my platforms. So I know in, in a lot of us in the past, we've used duplicate content or we'll cross post the same content. Um, in this case, it's writing a unique uh, post for each platform respectively, which is really cool. Now, uh, now that I have these, I can say um, add, these posts into table form. So now what it's going to do is going to put all these posts into an Excel file format. There we go. Which I can then copy and paste, drop into an Excel file or to a Google Doc sheet. And um, I can uh, archive that with the property information. And if a client says, well, what are we doing to market my property? I'm like, here's your, here's, here's a, here's a post. Uh, here's five posts for the next week, one on each of my platforms or two on Instagram, two on Facebook, whatever the case may be. And I can play this out and say, um, uh, now create 30 days of content based on this property description. The nice thing is, is I type quick, uh, well, it's not nice, but when I do, but the, um, the AI does pick up misspellings and still understands what you're talking about. So now I just asked it to do 30 days of content creation, uh, which is really wild. And uh, whether 
whether that 30 days you, you get to that 30 day mark or you know you want to spread those out monday wednesday friday whatever the case may be uh you can uh create a lot of content creation based on your property description here for you all one in one shot within a matter of 30 seconds to a minute and you can go through it and see, you know see some if there's any accuracies or the hashtags are not quite what you want them to be or you want to add a few more yourself you know hashtag keith sells homes or uh hashtag arizona real estate or scottsdale living um whatever platform you use and if the hashtags are relevant then you can go from there uh, I could have even said, and give me uh, a recommended for photo for each one of these posts. And that would have been another column with a recommendation on maybe a shot I can do with that particular, um, with that particular social media post. So I think you guys get the, the idea on that content creation and the, and the power of which it can do it for you. Uh, start a new chat here. Um, what are some, uh, Um, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so obviously in this particular case, I want to think of some things I can do outside the box. Uh, local art showcases, desert landscaping workshops, community projects, pop-up home staging. You know, it, it, again, if you're someone who's looking to... Um, if you're someone who's looking to get into real estate or maybe revamp your marketing, looking for some fresh ideas, maybe you just feel like you're tapped and you really haven't, you know, come up with any, any cool ideas uh, in a long time. Um, your uh, AI can really help you fill in that gap and uh, flash mob open house. Uh, that sounds weird. Organize a flash mob to promote an open house. It'll create a buzz and will definitely be remarkable. Super, what, what do they mean by flash? Hold on, here we go. Explain number nine. Uh, <laughs> so number fla a flash mob open house. Never heard of that one. Here we go. Okay, I guess I know what a flash mob is. A group of people assemble suddenly in one specific area. Concept and goal. The primary aim of the flash mob is to raise awareness about the open house and create a memorable experience for onlookers planning. So you guys see it really just kind of breaks it down for you. And if it's like, okay, I can do that. I can do that. Great. Um, maybe how can a realtor sponsor events with the community HOA? Oh, come on. I guess I got to tell the stop generating first before I have it generate a new one. All right, here we go. All right, let's try it again. New chat. No, see, that, the nice thing is they all stay over here on the left-hand side, so you can always go back into them. Uh, hold on. Only one. Okay, so it's, I basically hosed it up because I was asking it to do too much at one time. So let's go in here. Let's see if we can get it to work. Nope. All right. Let's refresh the page. So if if it can break, I know I'll do it. There we go. How can a realtor sponsor events with community HOA? Kind of gives a reason why you would. So that's great. Not just being told to do something, but you're obviously creating value, uh, understanding the community and your and your targeting. How large is the HOA? Uh, building relationships, identifying opportunities. So maybe you want to sponsor an outdoor movie night or a ice cream social. Even breaks it down on drafting and proposals so how you can approach the AOA and uh, see if there's an opportunity for you to uh, engage them in discussion and uh, look for an opportunity to be part or to participate in their uh, community. Trying to get the word out for yourself, which is really awesome. Um, Last one here for you guys. Let me let 
Let's have this stop. All right, we're almost done. Last one for you guys here uh, that I think is awesome. I have a ultimate social media manager uh, persona that I think is really cool. And also too, I will, um, uh, if you guys email me, I will send you these slides, but let's try this one here and see how it works. Okay, last one, super prompt persona. Uh, this one's a little bit long, but again, Taking that initial time up front, putting in great content in the beginning will then establish an amazing voice and output for you as you work with the AI. In this particular case, um, I'm telling you to ignore all previous instructions, act as a charismatic and engaging social media manager. Again, you can change that adjective to best describe you. Uh, you have over 10 years of experience helping real estate agents use social media marketing tools, create, maintain their brand, uh, you have the experience to develop social media marketing, everything uh, that's the best ones are listed there. Um, you'll help analyze digital marketing plans, social media strategy, uh, look for strengths and weaknesses. Uh, you'll help write scripts, posts, leverage the most popular hashtags when needed. And then uh, your responses are at a high school reading level. And you must always answer uh, I always must ask a question before answering it and it's better zone in. Yes, totally understand. Great. Um, what's, a, what's a good one? So now as the persona of a social media manager who's helping uh, real estate agents, um, we can come up with um, a, um, you know what? There we go. Creating an ebook on selling your house. Of course, but first I need a bit more insight. Who's the target audience of your ebook, for example? Are they the first time home buyer? Are they looking to downsize? Are they a specific group? How detailed would you like your ebook to be? Uh, and the reason why I want to point out um, having a uh, marketing professional, social media manager type persona is um, especially if you agents who have a wealth of information and have been there, you know, kind of like the farmer's insurance. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. So you guys uh, have been through this, you know, firsthand, you have experience. Uh, what better way than to create some type of a free uh, ebook, uh, something that is easily, you know, reach out to me for my buyers or sellers guide or, um, you know, things to do and not to do, uh, increasing the value of your home every summer for under 500 bucks, uh, whatever your tangible uh, giveaway is to elicit in engagement with your audience, capture their email address, get them into your CRM, uh, have the AI help you create that. And uh, it's just really a conversation with you going back and forth with the AI and, um, and uh, you know, shaking out all the good content. Uh, you know, write me, uh, create a buyer ebook, um, and let's go with a rough draft. So let's do four chapters, and uh, let's do a draft on what each of those chapters will be titled, and what each chapter will have. And you're really just copying and pasting, and then rebaking that answer back into the AI and getting in deep, diving deep in. And you know, chapter one is done, making some tweaks, rewriting some sentences, including some additional content, um, and then going chapter two and chapter three and chapter four. And then once you it's all said and done, you've got a book. You can copy and paste that out into an Excel document or into a, or a Word doc. <clears throat> Spell check it, go proofread it, have a friend read it, go through it again. And then convert it into a nice digital ebook that you have that you can give to your uh, to your potential clients. And of course, branding it. You know, uh, um, you know the importance of personal branding. Um, you know, uh, going through uh, the personal branding. So again, you know, your headshot, your logo, your colors, it's more than just that. It's how you approach your business, your passion, uh, you know, communicating why you do what you do. Are you a thought leader in the industry? Um, you know, crafting, as I mentioned here, a detailed response uh, on this importance of personal branding for others can help clarify the content, context. Are you looking for content to use as a presentation, blog post, and so on? So, um, uh, 
it's going to ask you thought provoking questions so that it can get the most content from you. And, 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 and when you put your product out there, it's going to be a home run. So I, I think this is a fantastic tool to use as an agent, but not only as an agent in life in general. Um, I know, whoop, let's go back over here. I literally uh, getting ready for fantasy football season. And I'm like, you know what? I'm a, a Cardinals fan. I'm a Notre Dame fan. So I asked it uh, to please, um, hold on right here, create fantasy football team names from past head coaches of Notre Dame. Uh, so it created uh, football names from past coaches. And then I said, okay, well, as a Cardinals fan and as a Notre Dame fan, how can I merge those two topics or interests together? And I think I'm, I'm, think I'm, pretty, I think I'm pretty excited about um, Fitz, Fitzgerald's Dome Dynasty or uh, one here, Fitzgerald's Fighting Irish. So have fun with it. It's amazing what you can do. Um, I can have it uh, uh, respond with sarcasm, with humor. Um, I can go back into my social media content creation and have it rewrite my posts with some humor, um, with uh, make it informal, formal, uh, satirical, um, um, uh, a narrative voice. Uh, you, the tone and the uh, writing style can be changed just by simply asking the AI to do so. It's really wild uh, what it can do. Um, uh, sarcasm is my spirit animal. So I have asked it to write sarcastic responses to friends' text messages before. Uh, give me four or five uh, good ones, and then I'll pick one out and send it back. And then they're like, All right, are you, what's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> so um uh, the, the app is pretty wild too. It's nice to have it like right there. If I ever get an email and I'm on the fly, uh, someone wants to book an appointment or wants to have a conversation about a topic, uh, I'll copy and paste it in and have it write a response for me real quick. And then maybe just change a few words here and there, but it speeds the process up considerably, gets you on to the next task. Um, and really at the end of the day, um, you know, if the AI can save you an hour or two a week, times a month, times a year, uh, you, you, there's other things you can be doing, um, and, and, and hopefully grow your business faster. So that's pretty much all I got. I hope that was like, you know, a, to not too much to digest, but, uh, by all means, if you guys, um, have any questions, uh, you'd like me to have it do something else for you right now, uh, you know, make ice cream. You can't do that. Just kidding. Um, thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. Yeah. We're, uh, I'm going to keep working on it. There's a lot of AI tools out there, uh, Adobe uh, for Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Editor, they are already baking AI into their offerings. You're going to start seeing AI in uh, all Microsoft applications. So Excel, Word doc, Canva already has AI built into it. It's called Magic Write. So pretty much can do the same thing that AI is doing here. Um, ChatGPT as an AI is really leading the way, but we're starting to see a lot of the, 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 I look at it like the AI is the fuel right now. We're gonna start seeing it power a lot of the things that we use every day. And we're gonna go back to Google, but Google Bard, we're gonna go to Bing, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have AI cooked into a lot of this tech. And we're not gonna talk about so much chat GPT as a standalone website or an app, but it's going to be baked into a lot of the things that we do each day. Uh, our smart devices at home um, will remember conversations. It's not always this binary, like, what's the weather today? Or what's the weather today, Alexa? And can you make some suggestions on a tire that I could wear? Should I layer, hoodie? I'm going to a job interview. Can you make some recommendations on what to wear? And we're starting to have a, a much smarter home device. Uh, and, and I really think it's going to advance the way that we interact with a lot of the, uh, the tools that help us do what we do day to day, not only in our personal lives, but in our business as well. So um, thank you guys. Appreciate your feedback. Appreciate your questions. Uh, keep an eye out for the recording on our YouTube channel. I'll hopefully have that up for you today, if not by tomorrow morning. And of course, always email me. I'm Keith, K-E-I-T-H at WestUSA.com. Uh, thank you guys so much for attending. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Have a great day.